வெல்கம் டு ட்ரம் யூடியூப் சேனல் இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வி கேன் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் தட் பேக்டீரியல் ரெஸ்பிரேஷன் தேர் ஆர் ஃப்ரீக்வன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரெஸ்பிரேஷன் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் இன் த பேக்டீரியல் செல்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் ரெஸ்பிரேஷன் ரெஸ்பிரேஷன் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் ஆக்சிரேஷன் ஆஃப் கெமிக்கல் காம்பவுண்ட் தட் இட்ஸ் ரிலீஸ்ட் ஃபார் எனர்ஜி இன் திஸ் ப்ராசஸ் ஆர் நோன் அஸ் ரெஸ்பிரேஷன் first of all the bacterial respiration is three kinds of respiration first one is aerobic respiration second one is applicate aerobes the third one is anaerobic respiration fourth one is facultative anaerobes fifth one is capnophilic bacterium first one is aerobic respiration in this respiration takes place in with the help of oxygen axon is the terminal acceptor of electron in this type of respiration and are called aerobic respiration example for aerobic respiration streptococcus the second one is obligate aerobes in this type of respiration takes place in must to be axon to for survive in this bacteria then the respiration process is must to have axon for its survival an example for obligate aerobes micrococcus the third one is anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration means do not utilize that axon for its growth do not utilize that axon for its growth in this type of respiration and are called anaerobic respiration most of the fermentation process or takes place in anaerobic respiration example for anaerobic respiration clastridium a novel bacterium and are called clastridium and it's perform anaerobic respiration the third one is facultative anaerobes in facultative anaerobes in this bacteria perform both aerobic and anaerobic respiration aerobic and anaerobic in case of presence of axon and it's perform aerobic respiration absence of axon and it's perform anaerobic respiration in anaerobic respiration it's caused for severe diseases that's a means of uh, it's create the some poisonable protein and are called a toxin in this toxin is caused for severe diseases an example for facultative anaerobes escherichia coli and salmonella bacterium the final one is capnophilic bacterium what is capnophilic in the capnophilic bacterium carbon dioxide requirement for its growth carbon dioxide is necessary for its growth in this type of bacterium and are called capnophilic bacterium an example for capnophilic bacterium campylobacter there are few kinds of respiration takes place in the bacterial respiration first of all aerobic respiration aerobic respiration means axon is necessary for its growth that the means of terminal acceptor of electron is axon is necessary example for streptococcus the second one is applicate aerobes must axon for its survival example for applicate aerobes micrococcus the third one is anaerobic respiration do not use utilize the axon example for anaerobic respiration clastridium fourth one is facultative anaerobes and it's perform both aerobic and anaerobic respiration example for facultative anaerobes escherichia coli and salmonella the final one is camp capnophilic bacteria then the bacterium requirement for its uh, growth particular gases carbon dioxide is necessary for its growth example for facultative uh, sorry capnophilic bacterium campylobacter 